And the question that I, I'm I'm challenging everybody to are all the kids or all the children. I hate I'm trying to get out that term, uh, kid. But all are all the children getting what they deserve? When I sit down and I see that three people, three people had to spend time with one individual just because that one individual don't want to do nothing, but yet you got a classroom full of people that want to try. You got that, you got that group in the middle that want to try. You know, it, it's it's like, yo, we got to really start making some hard choices, right? Because I know some of them your cousins, I know some of them your little brothers, some of them your nephews, but you know, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, some of that, some of that 10%. They need to get their ass on and go somewhere because they're disrupting the process for everybody else. And this is just not in school. This is in our business. We need to be making choices on what they do. Choices on how they spend their money. Choices. You know what I'm saying? Even if the choice is limited, because I know some people be like, uh, you know, we don't really get to make no choices. But, yeah, we do. You know what I'm saying? In some form or fashion, we make choices. Shouts out to my sister, Miss Debbie. How you doing today, sis? All right. Um. So let's get this started. Y'all know what it is. We up on YouTube. I just wanted to make sure the YouTube fam would be able to be in. Um. I'm going to post up. Uh. The number. Sometimes you just have to let go of all emotions. The facts of the matter is that some children have already made up, and that's and that's the point. And see. And I want to make sure people understand that it's just, I'm not just talking about children. It's not just the children because the dynamics that go on in the schools are the dynamics that go on in life. You know what I'm saying? Look where 80% of our resources are being spent. Look at where 80% of your family's resources are being spent. Look at where 80% of your resources are being spent. It's usually being spent on that 10 percent of your life that don't really give a damn about you or that 10 percent of people in your life that don't give a damn about you well a uh in some cases well let, let's just say let's focus on middle school because i don't want to hurt some people's feelings because you know i'm one of those that about fourth grade i'm seeing people make choices but let's let's stick it at middle school where where an individual has an opportunity to go through puberty because actually you know, this the, the whole bad child thing is a new phenomenon. Y'all do know that before before people start getting into their feelings. I want you to understand the bad child phenomenon. That 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 shit is new. I could actually childhood is new. I just want y'all to know the teenager is an invention of Western society. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the shit that we're going through did not exist. See, because you know, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, what was a disobedient child on the plantation? I'm just asking. Just asking. You know what I'm saying? Because I. What was they? You know what I'm saying? What was they? Bro. All right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the actual threat. All right. Uh, uh, Sister Nabita asks, you know, are we talking here? Ultimately, I'm only going straight and work with people that actually give a damn about what's back if any and when that said person ever decided to come. I said, we, we might have to leave. I don't even know how I got going to start the show. I'm sorry. You know, but you know, I get kind of excited. When the uh, uh when the uh when the when, when the day when the day is like just like, like <laughs> people's feelings. You mentioned feelings and said you'll just talk about the middle school. Age. I know, I know. See, my team be calling me out. All right, so you know, let's you know. But I, I was just trying to point out the fact. You know, this, you know. All right, Sister Tiaj, you got me. All right, all right, you got me. Woo. 
I can't can't back paddle, can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. So let's get out the feelings. You know what I'm saying? Choices are being made, family. And you know, we could say, because you know, let me let me give you one of the problem excuses that I hear from all age groups. Well, they only a child. Um, right. Human beings have a very long time. As a matter of fact, thing right now is that if we was to put it into the, the time of the 24 like human exists, look at all this and look at how this is less than what five seconds. And we existed, how we're living now is less than five seconds. And all of a sudden, now only a child is an excuse. I want you to understand this. Children did not cry during certain situations because they would put the whole family. I know that. Uh, y'all do know that, right? Do y'all understand that uh, um, the as soon as they could walk with 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 chores and help them with them. we do understand this you know what i'm saying i'm like it's like right now in this last family there's no way that we could have made it if you believe it. Well, does it believe this? if you believe in creationism, there's no made it. I mean, if children were such a big burden, and because we had because we don't work. It's just that don't work. You you understand what I'm saying? So family, we got to really be we got to be clear. There's choices being made, and we got to be we got to really start looking at some of our young some. Not just we got to start learning. I know, homie, I'm I'm just you know no remaining your feelings. They to how to what case? Okay, there you go. Trying to save me from, from the, from, from the Miss Tiandra, she don't be peace. Said we was gonna not be in the feelings. Uh oh, here she go. This is an important conversation. I was a director, a probation, and mentoring at the university. People just go to school to fail. Not even primary, secondary school is on. Is is one of three reasons. Hold on, she she break it. Hold on, she break it down. It's one of three reasons. They don't know why they're there. They're there because of force. One, I ran into that one a lot too. Life is happening. Something more important to them is going on. Death, harm, etc. And three, utilizing school as an outlet for energy. Other one, having fight those three. Right, Kwame. Uh oh. Look, Vita's uh oh. So, you know, we going we're gonna start the music. We're gonna cue the music. Cue. cue the music. We're gonna cue the music. But hold on, let me put up the phone lines because y'all know uh Columbus Public is closed. So I want to make sure people know that the lines are open. Hold on. Hey man, last night. We're going to post it up today. was like, what? What? All right. So I'm posting up the number. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, family, it's, it's some, it's, it's, at a certain point, honestly, I'm like, yo. But, you know what I'm saying? That's why 
That's why you deal with that and something else, right? But you know, I gotta be honest. But hey, you know, you know what time it is. Grab your glasses if you ain't already grabbed them. Um, with the sister and Cynthia on there, welcome. Uh, so let's go and get to the talk about uh, a story called the Isle. We break it down these stories like. We don't have to agree, family. I'm just in our community. This, this, this idea. It's a role for free. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, nah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you read, you read about, um, Businesses want to anybody find it what they want to create. They didn't necessarily agree. In that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people stuck on waiting. You know what I'm saying? And I just want us to get up out the habit of being stuck 
on waiting, it doesn't benefit us. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, we got to start take advantage of thing I'm saying, family. I'm like this. And I honestly believe whether we talk about adults, I'm honestly believing that that 10% of the spectrum, you know what I'm saying, is slowing us down. You know what I'm saying? It's taking up a lot of resources. I'm like, nah, fam. You know. You know. Because some little special projects. We all got a little special projects. So. Y'all drinking your water. If you think drinking your water, throw some thumbs up. Let me see them thumbs. Because we can't salute our ancestors if we all messed up and banged up because we ain't taking care of ourselves. Um, so, what else is it? They still tearing up in Philadelphia? My fault. Are they still having fun in Philadelphia? You know what I'm saying? It's fun. You know, it's fun when white folks do it. It's euphoria when they do it. You know, we do it. Thug ass niggas, right? You thug ass niggas. I do not. Somebody got shot. You know, they don't give you no right to tear down poles and flip cars and running. You, you, you don't have no right. You can't do it. I mean, that, you know, this is the image of us. And like I said, man, this gets into that whole Kuzi Chaglia piece, man. Family, we have to make sure that we have a media that can represent us. We have to make sure that we have our media that can um, that could, that can truly represent us, that can talk to the people. And it's just so fortunate that things are happening that the, the way that they're that, now a little bit more attention is going to be paid towards people on YouTube too. You know what I'm saying? But like for example, some good, some good, some good news information on Jamie Journey. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we're gonna filter through and remove stuff that might not need to be there, but we do want to make sure that we are able to provide people not always happy news. But some good information like I, I posted up right and it bugs people out that jim crow so longer than we have officially been full well probably about 75 percent citizenship so i think jim crow was like over 100 years and you, you know we've been sort of able to have full citizen even though we've been priced out of america a lot of black folks don't realize that america the the new the new jim crow is some of us family the new jim crow is economic because some of us just can't afford to stay in america and you know we think we making a knot mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. When you look at man, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing I'll build it back up is us getting together, tribing up, basically, and learning how to do stuff together, right? You know, I'm like, for example, Kwame. Um, once again, I'm maxing. Do you want me to filter your ambrosia? It's called tribing up. You want me to filter? You know what I'm saying? Or you want you want it dark and murky. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to do stuff. Um, so all right, I'm gonna finish this water. Music playing, just give myself time to just go on and just. Hey, this is what it is when you. you know.
don't have to hold on that's the best part of working in this night. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know when ancestors is going to just be like, hey, day. You know what I'm saying? You, you just, like, you know, I, I, I used to deem respect what the men know witchcraft they get they i don't know if they done figured out how to cast those stones or whatever the hell they doing but they caught it somebody said well it ain't gonna really start snowing till about 1 a.m because i went to bed about 12 and i said oh that's some bullshit ain't no snow so you know then i looked at the forecast the snow is going to be coming in and i said i want you to understand see because some of us can remember when the weatherman was never right. Or he came close. They came close. Now, they got it down to where they are able to and do their data Look from 1 to 4 p.m. Severe snow flurry. Possibility that the schools will be no trucks will be out now, but I want you to think about this weather. What have they done with psychological warfare? Uh, what you said, is I mean, because it is winter time, and hell, I mean, I remember, I remember when I was when. I, and this might just be me fantasizing a, a good childhood. I remember snow hitting in right after Thanksgiving because we used to have the turkey in Akron, right? And we would go to the turkey bowl and it would be extreme, right? But no snow. But then after Thanksgiving, it was snow. And snow being on or being all throughout wintertime. So I don't, I don't snow is not unnatural. We are. Now, the warm times, yeah, I got you. Anubis says, if it were not for the car factor, it would probably be living out in the Midwest winter in my favorite season. Winter is your favorite? Oh, I hate this shit. I mean, I like to, don't get me wrong. I like the cold. I like what cold does to you. What's not right in the warmth, I don't recall 56. And I, I got you on that. All the snow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this this kind of throw things back into balance. You right. Um. I like the cold because I like what the cold does. Stimulates the body and stuff like that. I don't like being in this shit. Mm -mm. mm -mm. uh, I'm still I'm still shocked. He said, what? There ain't no animals to hunt in, in the one? I mean, because Kwame said, Nubis is like, you I guess deer don't hide in the winter time, right? Uh, so it's good eating time then for hunters, right? You got to find some place where it's in season to hunt them because right now it's like, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, I really feel for the deer. I mean, when I think about it, yes, I hunt time. Time is what Kwame is getting at. You know what I'm saying? Because please explain to us why winter is your favorite favorite sea. I, let's put it this way. I love all the seas because we need the winter, right? Because without the winter, it will make the right here for preparing and, 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 and killing things that need to be killed so that when it's time for us to do the camping trip, Last year, 
it was supposedly a tick epidemic. And I say supposedly, because I was supposed to go out to the woods and I'm listening and I'm, I'm not, I'm, mm -mm. no, no, I, I, I could fuck with ticks that don't, don't have a head start on me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need the ticks there before I, you know what I'm saying? They have to start preparing for the season at the same ticks that have been there have set traps. But back to the point, if they have perfected the science of being able to predict, predict this type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Imagine the aid in other sciences. And what, what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you is, we have to start pushing our kids into fields not necessarily fears following this this stuff, but it gives you a hope when you, when you have when you have a perspective where you can look at something that it, when it was it wasn't good when you was young, but as you get older, you start seeing that wow, they're getting real good at this. So you see progress, right? So we have to start really getting our kids involved in things and understanding that a progress of peace. Right now, it might not be good, but we just gotta let them progress you know what i'm saying generations of stuff and when, when, when people start compiling information and sharing that information it allows growth to happen you know what i'm saying so you know i mean it's really I'm telling you, i was out I went 12. i go to bed after the show it was about 10 10 30. No snow, and then when I got up and went to bed, cause I, to, I said, so I went to bed. I looked outside. I, I didn't. I ain't see nothing. So, but then I woke up three and a half hours later and looked outside and said, "Hmm, mm. So here we go, family. Time for us to do our toast. We got that ambrosia. I am actually planning. I'm going on a hunt that's coming in money, and I might even do a bit of I Ooh, man. But yo, one of the things we're gonna have to one of the things we're gonna have to take thinking about that is wintertime camping. You know what I'm saying? Survival camp. And that ain't for everybody. That's going that's like a warrior. And, and and ladies, you're included. I just need people to understand understand Jami speak when I say warrior, right? I, you know, what I'm saying it's not a sex, right? So you know, if you want to, but when you know, when the wolf he he he's not discriminated on sex. He or she is not discriminated on sex. When a wolf is hungry, a wolf is the child is gonna eat you, is gonna eat your your mama. It don't care. So we got to really, you know what I'm saying? And we got to understand it's about all of us. Warriorship is a path, and some of us is going going to attack that path a little bit. So now, since nobody calling in, because the lines are open. Let me check. Maybe somebody did call in. I'm not paying attention. All right. Let's start the conference. Unbelievable. I mean, I know I paid my bill. I know I paid my bill. And I don't deserve this type of disrespect. I clicked the Uber and it shut down on the brother. I mean, it's like, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? He at least gives me a certain clarity that no us. And I'm usually more in tune with everything happening all, all around because your senses are kind of elevated. You know what I'm saying? This is, I mean, hours in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And some of my. Uh, we play wolves at all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking. I'm not talking about 
the, the, the wolf dog. You know what I'm saying? The wolf is a metaphor. They don't play. Read about Emmett Till. They don't play. I want y'all, I'm just being honest with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We really, really, because like, dude, we got a president that could sound a Trump, the president that could do this. And it's cool. Hey, everybody cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there's good, there's good, good people on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, you know, that whole that whole shadigans family, the wolf is coming. Wolf is coming. The only thing that you need to really be or asking yourself is, am I ready? Because they, they listen, when they come, they don't be playing. They don't be playing at all. They're gonna be dressed in black. They're gonna have on, they're gonna be bulletproof from the head to the toe. Cause this is how they go to battle, family. This is how they go to they, this is how they go to battle. You know what I'm saying? This is how they go to battle. How are you gonna do that? And then it just don't have to be them. You know what I'm saying? We got to be looking at other possibilities, other other things um to protect ourselves. You know what I mean? Because that's the time we're living in. Excuse me for a second, Facebook. I need to go on it. I'm trying to get the lines out because, uh, you know, I got to go through so many steps now. It's just ridiculous. I don't even understand no more. That is do you want do you want get your day and uh so you need to let me know Kwame you need to let me know if you can you know what I'm saying because you know the the, the black sea the 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 dandelion root the burdock root you know and that Kwame you know do you, do you want it murky and shock you need to let me know whether you want your stuff bottled up or do you want these oh so it's a family this kaumba i'm gonna do the push-up for those that don't speak the language this saturday at 3 p.m it's kaumba for us though right at 3 p.m at the millennium community school we will be showing. Let me say again. We will be showing the spook who sat by the door. Right? And I know some of y'all like, what is that? Right? But most of the people here, y'all know what it, what it is, right? Y'all know the spook who sat by the door. And it is perfect timing. So it's going to be one week from the premiere of the black panther see because now because i want people to have a comparison okay gallon okay i got you oh you want and it's scoby man not scovy scoby my scobies are very sensitive man you can't you can't be you know now what type of scoby do you want, my brother? Since you've been participating with Jeremy Journey, do you want a big scoby or do you want scoby? Because I could accommodate you either way. You understand what I'm saying? So, I, and I want you to think about that because when I say big scoby, I'm not playing. I'm talking about either I give you a scoby that could make you a, a gallon of ambrosia. Well, it won't be ambrosia once it leaves my house. It's no, no longer ambrosia, whatever the hell you want to call it. You better call it those Giammi boys. Gonna just let you know, right? Oh, but you family, but they still gonna come see you. 
You family, I got your address. But hey, or do you want a skull be big enough to to um because I get you one that could and I and, and I got an extra bucket that you get aboard the five gallons to do it. I'm trying to tell y'all this 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 whole scobies and stuff is incredible, man, because you learn so much about nation building by just looking at how how these little microorganisms work. It's incredible. Uh, remember, I need more than one so big. Okay, so oh, all right. I got a way to hook you up. I have a we might we might need to do a video because uh, and, and bring some. All right, to, to be you bringing some um, rubber gloves, so that I, so I can show you how to work with the scoby, show you how to separate them. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you one big one, and and it might have a layer on there if you choose to separate it. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really braiding that much, but every time you brew, I would suggest home and brew because every time you brew it creates a new scoby i want to say i want to say see this is what's dope about this this organism the the, the this organ different bacteria and yeast that decide to work together they form a community a collective called a called a symbiotic culture of um bacteria and yeast and they have decided and i want y'all to think about this they have decided they're gonna work together they're gonna die together they're gonna live together they they're going to feast together. They're going to go hungry together. They have decided. So every time that they are able to eat, they reproduce themselves. Every time. So it's like every time I brew, whether I'm brewing, I brew. It creates. Now, if that's not a message for us, if that's not an example, no, what is? You know what I'm saying? Cause he's big. It's only as big as the environment. And it's like, yo, boom, now y'all got to move on and find your own space. All right, so I'm opening the lines up. Check one, check two, check one, check two, play test sound. Uh, that sound working. So, so if you call in, lines are all open, but we then I'm about to get up. I'm going to lay down for a little while. But hey, family, first start getting on to the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator. We lift up our glass and we toast those ancestors. I mean, we toast the creator, the first ancestors. So we lift our glasses up, family, and we lay from there. We move on to our personal ancestors. We want to salute those individuals upon whose shoulders we stand. We want to salute those who took time with us when um, they didn't have to. We want to salute those who took time with us and, and taught us some of the things that we, we need to know. Brother Shock is on the line. What I'm going to do is I am going to uh, check one, check two. Brother Shock, I'm going to connect and finish the toast. So here we go. Uh, So we're going to toast those ancestors. Joining conference now. So, this call is being recorded. So we those ancestors, right? And I'm going to run through the list real quick. Here we go. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert, the Tech Center, Davidson, Brown, C, Rosalie, Tilly, George, and William Walter, Chris and Fanny Guest, and Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fane, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Washington, Bob Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twig, Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Falar, Montague Pimenel, No More X, Pat Meyer, Rob Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusef Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Hector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, the Luxor Brothers, Miss. Either 
Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Anna Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Random, and Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Cunha, Kevin D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Susie, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beattie, Sarah Ware, LaVita, Tur LaVita Farmer, I go so Sue, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Dillis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mar Mar Mer Merle B. Thornton, Pearl, Ida, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Tricia Lewis. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hold on. I got you. I'm gonna I'm mute your mic until I get done with the with the toast. Because you over there. I don't know what's going on over there, man. Edgar Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, May Eliza Frederick Davis, May Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles, Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mills Bowden, Charlie Hunt. Sammy Stover, here the Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Levine Hall, Freeman Banks, Mary Marshall, Willie Thornton, Napoleon, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Ramsey Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. S. Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Wells, James Farmer, Leon Gross, no, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Martinier, Elder Brenya, Demetrix, Lacey, Eleanor Hoff, Franklin Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas, Triggs the second, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, Will Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Carla Sawyer, Doris, and Donna Ellis Murphy. Hold on, we're not, it's not over. I got some here. Hold on. I'm trying to mute. There you go. All right. Um, Brother Jones, Peter Charles, Christiana Robinson, Rose, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, William, William Billingsley Jr. Uh, Brother Deshaun says, Jim Hazel, Gaston, J. Brownlee, Brian Watson, Junior, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, Davis Ford, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, um, um, Dr. D says Dan Wilkinson Sr., Sister Jackie says Emma McClendon. We added Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson. We also got Brother Shaka Torre. We got... Um, uh, Miss Madonna Hill, um, salutes her mother and father, Donna Hill, and Richard Glevis. And then Sister Cynthia, got Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Void Irby, Jimmy Gaucher, George, and Haley Johnson, Archie, and Margaret Armstead. We lift up our glass and we salute those ancestors. Uh, okay. Uh, Shaka says, tomorrow is supposed to be Government shut down. Oh. Kwame say no filter, murky. Mm. And I just added a bunch of black seeds. Ooh, man. All right. Tomorrow is is spout down. Remember, I need more of the big. Okay. Cool. Are you still gifted? 
gifting something out so that I can go and let the sister know that you gifted something out for her. You know what I'm saying? So let me know if you, if you remember. Uh, uh, Brother Anuba says, Shaka C and Hasbury, have you tried any of the other products such as this? It's really good, light, light, lightly seasoned. So a small, so a small of you favorite seasonings is all that's needed. It uh, so some of us, if you prefer for me, it was it, if you prefer for me, it was perfect. So um brother Nubis is talking about the Beyond Meat crumbles. So there's another show for you, Shaka. If you still there, check one. Check one, check two. What is going on with the Uber conference? All right, um, we're not done with the Toast family. You know, we we just we just uh we just multitask. I can multitask. I'm good. Good at what I do. All right. So we salute our personal ancestors, and that's what we're doing, right? We lift up the glass. I'm gonna take every last one of you. Uh, all right, every last one of you. I'm gonna salute your ancestors now. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. So we toast them and we say I say. From there, where do we go? We move on to the present moment. Today is Ujima. For those that don't speak the language, that's collective work responsibility. The Mahadi principle today is righteousness. Um, the M7 of the day is what we will teach the, the children at school is respect. The color is blue. Um, we got vibration. Um, it is the hermetic law of the day. Um, male was born on the day. The male name is Kweku, female warriors. Born on this day is the core. Um, I'm trying to keep my page so I can know what day we on for uh, tribal quotes. Um, and the African center cultural virtue and value system, emotional emancipation circles. We got one, two, three. Got, we are on yard for uh, well, politeness and respect, particularly towards your elders. Um, a kind ethics and a kind of day, obedience and respect is the word of the day. And in Yoruba, is a loose teachability. All right, so in this moment, family, we want to activate those particular formations and seek out our principles. We want to find the principles for the day. Um, collective work responsibility, right? So we lift up the glass. We say, I say, clear family. Move on to our future. Our children, our children, our children, children to infinity. You understand what I'm saying? Because we are responsible in the now. We are building a foundation on which uh, on which um our, our future generations will be able to stand. So I hope that you're building, right? I hope that you're preparing um a, a place at the table, or at least at least building a damn table so your children will be able to eat. All right, family, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, the past set us up. We have responsibility to set up. And actually, we have responsibility for at least the next seven generations. But being GI and some of us being warriors, we salute them for on to infinity because we realize we are generational people. So lift up the glass, we start shake from there, move on to um, all of our relations, we toast all of our relations. Lift up our glasses, lift those glasses, and last but not least, I toast you. I toast you for taking the time to get up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I toast each and every last one of you. And with that, we say, I say, I say, I say. I wish you peace, power, joy, one hundred years. Shock you on, on, man. Your mic is on, man. Come on. What's going on? I can't hear you. Well, my mic is on. Check one, check two. I'm thinking my mic is on. Check one, check two. What's going on? Shaka, you out there? I don't want to hang up. Why you on the phone? Okay, good. What's going on, my friend? We can have some conversation. What's going on? Well, I'm getting ready to come up uh, for 
would come down. So I had to, uh, I had to get my head together a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. here. you know, you got to be here, and you got to see both. You got to see back your head, right? Uh -huh. Gianni Journey at Gianni yeah. Journey on Facebook. All right. So peace stop Instagram. Thank you for joining us. All right. So now, family, back to back back to the talk. The movie uh is going to be because like I said, man, this this movie pick and the timing because it's like the movie pick and the timing is so dope because the the this will set up, up the whole format. For the whole discussion and um for Black Panther and also give you something to compare and can't contrast against. Because you know, Will Black Panther, you know, because you like it's a revolutionary movie, you know what I'm saying? My question is, will it be as revolutionary as the spook who said about the door? Well,
Jeremy. All right, so look, look, look. First of all, I heard that they were giving a movie to the dude. Do you hear me? Are you good? When I found out that they were giving a dude that did fruit cell station, like, I was all the way, all the way against it. First of all, mm-hmm. and uh, it it took it took a little bit more for of me hearing that they were going to be uh, uh, a stronger integrity than just a uh, Marvel movie, a stronger so. You know, for for this being so highly anticipated, I mean, and and you know, for the past couple of years, they knew this was going to be the big one, right? Mm-hmm. So, with all of that in mind, and with the massive uh, of vigilance, I gotta tell you, uh, I've seen this movie. I tell you to say this, man. Right. Is that even beyond all of the C D magic, you are competing against taking something from that is that is dated. Taking a story that is dated by technology and another story where technology is limitless. All right. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of work to hang yourself. And believe you me, because of the truth you know, but people anticipate in many ways. Right. Big Brother has done a lot of things just to hit everybody on every angle, shut everybody up, especially us. Right. Because we the ones that were talking and were crucial like this, even if it was the, the gym. Wait, turn around. Turn around. More revolutionary. Turn more revolutionary in the food. Why are you say you say what? Say that again. The last one. You're saying which one is more revolutionary? Why or why not? I mean, that's what we're saying. I'm saying that we peel those layers away. Go ahead. That's a matter. You know what? It is Go ahead. because a lot of us we survive on lies, right? Exactly. People tell us. That, that that's possible. We believe it. Mm-hmm. Like we don't know what part to, to take away from that part of fantasy. That this part is real. If we can extract all the D, D magic to see the strategy that was behind this, and, and I'll tell you what, I mean, when it comes to strategy in movie, um, Luke was not the most strategic. In fact. Some of my favorite movies were probably inspired by the food, but they took it to a different level. Give me uh, example. For example, uh, um, and I'm not going to say that this movie, well, yeah, let me use one of that. Uh, uh, part. Mel Gibson's Brave Part. Right? Now, another, another situation where it was. It was it was dated based on the technology that was available. But when you look at the strategic aspect of what William Wallace did to be able to advance his love and, and then to make a statement at the end that doesn't compare to my freedom. Even after you just chop on that. See, but now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was revolutionary about? See, and when I talk about revolution, I'm not just talking about. Uh, new technology. I'm talking about the whole concept, see, because what was different about what was different about the spook for me was the spook in the end with his nuts getting cut off. The spook ended. The spook had an ending that you still don't get in movies today. Right? It was a revolutionary ending. It was an open-ended ending with us winning. See, now, Black Panther, so, well, so, well, so, well, so, wait, 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 turn him out, turn him out. Brave, Brave Heart ended with Mr. Wallace 
dying. See, we got enough. We got see, we got enough dying heroes. Spook who stepped out the door did something totally different. It took a turn. Ain't no dead hero. All, all we know is that he. Hold on. Okay. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. That's the whole point. I feel. Go ahead. What's the point? The point. What's the, the point? point is, is that for somebody like you, wait a while to get tired of here. Right. Somebody like me, wait a while to get in the heart. Oh, my. You know what? You sound, you sound like the, you sound like the elders. Wait a while. Hold on. Hold on. Go, go to your invitation. This is my audience. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the issue, right? This is the issue. Uh, uh, oh, brother, Kwame said drop squad. Maybe we'll watch that too. But the, for me, no, the drop squad was horrible. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Kwame, I have to agree with brother uh, Shaka on the drop squad was horrible, but it is one of those movies that we could watch. Yeah, yeah. Don't put our kids to that man. Oh, no, 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 wait, stop. Stop, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, hold on, stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to understand. This is not a kid's event. This is a family event. If you want to bring the kids, $5 for adults, 17 and under, you get in free. You know what I'm saying? This is a fundraiser for the Malcolm X celebration that will be coming up in May. And if Brother Shaka is there, we may be having... Um, um, uh, we may be having a, a live entertainment up in the spot as well. You know what I'm saying? We got a spot big enough to hold 75 to, I mean, depending on how many people want to come. We'll make it work with family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Because, I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But yeah, the Kwame Drop Squad was, you know what I'm saying? It had that one standout scene with the, with the, Drop Squad, Drop Squad is something that you you, if, if you have a drop right. squad into the curriculum for the kids or make the kids friendly, I think the best thing to do, do the most easy thing to do, is to be able to get Spike Lee's address. And don't worry, if we can't get his direct address, um, you know, we'll we make it work out. But and, and we'll do it, we'll, we'll put a, uh, we'll pull a drop squad uh, on Spike Lee. Or, let's not do that, man. That movie <laughs> was not. Not necessary. I mean, I got from the very beginning. I had an idea, right? And at the end, I wish that my imagination, what I had in the beginning, was actually what the movie really was. Oh, um, you know, but you know, you know, I can do to make make more better blues. I'm not gonna hear. More better blues was more better blues was good. Malcolm X, I mean, Malcolm X kind of left you kind of at the end, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I, I feel, I hear you, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? But, what about the blue? Hey, but I'm, I'm glad you mentioned, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that too, man, because what we need more of, when we talk about sacrifice, I think that's the thing that's the thing I'm coming from. It's because, all right, we can talk about what you want, but sacrifice, that's the conversation. And look, you know, what was, what, what was really the sacrament? You know what I mean? And that's the piece that I got connected with. What was the sacrament that really made that movie revolution? Because to me, there's no revolution without uh, a sacrifice. Uh, uh, and, and I ain't going to get to that. But, so that's, 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 uh, that's one of the major things that I'm going to want to. Uh, you know, identify with in this video on, on Saturday. You said it's on Saturday at noon. It is Uncle Umba. No, you be trying to trick me because I'm always get me with it. Okay. 3 p.m. Uh, All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be posting now, on Friday. Are you, you going to have that? This is a holiday. It's going to be concession. There's going to be some concessions there.
Well, you might have some samples of the ambrosia. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, depends on how many orders <laughs> go out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Continuous, like a continuous series. So, I mean, this one. What's going on? What's going on with who? What's going on with the voice? How is it? Control over that as of yet, you know what I'm saying? My people haven't created a you know, Wi Fi company yet, and I'm still waiting. You know, I'm still, you know, I'm still waiting um, to do for that. Yeah, and so we got, we got, we got room to do this, uh, this movie. I feel like, uh, uh this one is, uh, Says, I don't know if you want us with us on Facebook at this time, but Brother Nubis says, because you said something about sacrifice. He says, Quick says, for Spartacus, he's getting his head chopped off the many choices of William Wallace, so were the choices of William Wallace actions. And they both asked um, almost at the same time, talking about to serve with love. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Uh, um, oh yeah. Will I be able? Will yeah. I be able to handle it? Yeah. yeah like, I mean, you know, like when we when we go back and forth, I always pull. I mean, these conversations always pull two movies that that I, I really gravitate to because I feel like in the same. I have gone through some of that same uh, stuff. Gladiator and uh. Listen, and I'm not, I'm not dissing your movie choices. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like both of those movies. I mean, I like Gladiator more. You know what I'm saying? And, and the sacrifice, and I just need people to understand that the sacrifice doesn't always have to be life. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, that, that's a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, 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 that blood sacrifice does something to us. You know what I'm saying? But now I, I don't see how yeah. you, I don't know how you can look at the spook and not see the sacrifice. How can you look at the spook and about to do and not see the sacrifice? You know what I'm saying? Not see the sacrifice. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm just saying like when I'm when you ask the kind of question that you ask, I gotta watch it with Makeup 
and all he's doing is posting women stuff comments. Woo! You know, and some of them are going to or whatever, but it's about to pay attention to, and that's all this is doing. Put her makeup on, and she got 342 viewers right now. Right. right. So then, you know, I don't the food that come from the bathroom and the bed. Now she did all the makeup. Now she's still like going to make some music. And she's sitting there making music. And the dude is like, ooh, that's not like a drink. That's not like a drink. That's not like a drink. Man, all of a sudden, it's like 732. Viewers worldwide watching a girl in these comfortable positions and comfortable clothes, dinner, you know, music. Now I'm saying, it's long story short, I'm saying that one of us needs to be on camera. So one of us needs a man, each of the stations, so that when we get uh, questions and comments on any other site, we're able to fit those in the dialogue just like they do on the Talking Dead. I love that. And that's the other piece of that. Not only from the nation, from the nation building that, but when you look at those at those key moments, those key moments in the movie that I'm talking about, where the sacrifice is made. I'm not just talking about great part. I'm not just talking about at the end. I'm talking about the war tactics. I'm talking about the fact that you know they use. I mean, you could pull so many. Uh, different pieces of sun out of all of these movies. And I really think, you know, on my channel, that would probably be is being able to take principles, whether we're talking about sun too, or my not, and being able to decide for a movie based on proverbs and strategy. So, hey, so. No. Now, and you know, a new bitch, because new bitch was talking about Harry Potter came out. I'm still waiting for new bitch to get a camera or something, or maybe he might call it in. But he, he wanted that. The new bitch wanted to do when, 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 when me and the new bitch first hooked up, he was talking about doing uh, um, uh, a channel that, that broke down movies like Black Panther and, and um, the Star Wars piece with the Star Wars. She's got words in there. I, I ain't say nothing. Yeah. I didn't say it. You know what I'm saying? Star Wars was kind of bad. You know, I, I didn't say that. You know what? I haven't seen it yet, but you might be not even want to check it out. Man. I, wait. Not, no. not me. Not me. I did not make you know what? I'm just telling you what I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? And how I felt after I walked out the movie, right. I say not to see it because you might be able to find something different. Because you see, first of all, you get a little bit more into the characters than I, I mean, because like you could, I mean, like I said, I could throw out something and you be able to do a damn scene. And I mean, we all look at, we all look at different things and we just need to mesh it up so that we can go on and get everything together. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, what, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, but the, the, the show, that's a good idea. And I just want to point out the fact that Nubis was talking about doing a hangout when we would start breaking down the movies and the shows and, and, and of course, include, include the principles, but also point out stuff and key features in movies that could help people in their life. Like you said, because Gladiator, I feel Gladiator too, because I felt that I was in a no win situation. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, shit. I mean, he went out like he, as they say, people not like a G. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I mean, so you know, Mr. Wallace, but that was that was God. Damn. Hey man, look at me. Look at me, man. Listen, I, I, listen, and I'm not like, the man that I come to the point where I despise the things I reflect on our conversation. I'm like, mm, you know, we gotta call. Say something different because what I call it, I find that that word is unearned, unearned privilege. Oh man, all right, right. So when I look at your position, and he's like, Yo, we 
not all this money, right? Because <laughs> it's not like it is un- <laughs> un- You know what I mean? What to me? It's the time that causes me to be fierce with with my process to to establish some kind of place. And sometimes that you know, sometimes the commonality is the same. And so how do you how do you get people to to experience that way? And I know people that might be mad at the job people being a better presentation. No, and then all of a sudden I realize I'm doing it wrong. No, 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 I mean, it's not making, I mean, because we need that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, you know what I mean, it's like, you know, you Jedi need to sit and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm snatching the title, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't mind. I, you know, it took me a long time to get to a point where like, you, you, you're going to pay what you owe. You know what I'm saying? Because right. when I was in child support court, when I went in child support, when I went up there and they told me, I mean, I had to pay child support. If you wouldn't know, you know, well, you might not have the money. They basically looked at me and I said, you don't have this money. We're going to put your ass in jail. This was, you know say this was my graduation gift. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm looking back and being like, you know, they was right. It was, you know, you know, you, you, they was right. You know, and, and I, I finished paying my Right? And I, you know what I'm saying? And, and I did other things for my Now, this is the issue. I'm older than that. I realize I'm older than that. And I'm going to put myself or one of my one of my um one of my uh, progenies, one of my young people in a position where one day they could be looking at this government and be like, give us this money. We're gonna, we gonna put your ass in jail. You pay what you owe. You gonna pay me what you owe, Santa? Yeah, yeah, nah, like, and, and I don't even want to talk about it too much, man, because, yeah, I, 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 and I'll tell you what I did here, but I didn't already seen how you try to focus up on this, and, uh, you know, I'll complete it, but uh, I'm going I'm to I'm let you know what I did there. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm going to tell you what, when, when you don't have for our president, um, it's very easy for them to feel like they can uh, they can get you new high hopes and all along. And I'm saying that for me, as I have faith in my ancestors, and as I have faith in the nation I'm walking in tomorrow. This time tomorrow, I'm walking in to a spot. No, that no, I, I don't owe you today. I'm here to collect. And when that happens, if that don't spark something, because there ain't no trap in that part of it, it's going to be 15 minutes to be able to deliver an oral argument.
I look to prosecute the in the eye, and I let him know that because he has refused to even extend and address, I have a understand, and I don't have any type of you know criminal or any type of battery or anything like that. You know, in, in my history, in my marriage, where it's like, like oh, he needs, he needs to be separated from that. No, I divorced her because that was his plan. And, uh, and I got custody of my daughter. And right now, now I've been restrained for 15 years because they don't want to, uh, they don't want to even take her hand for committing federal fraud and social security. And I'm saying that, you that was the thing that everything. And that's where it's going to end. They thought that, you know, they can forget about it, try to sweep it up under the rug. But, y'all, I'm back. Well, mama, mama, they just go around like, yeah, you want me all this, whatever, and yeah, I've been, I've been what? I've been a single four time father doing what I do. And, and y'all stepping up on my toes because this is my responsibility, and you are rivaling what the sacred in my bloodline, in my family, and that is me being a father to my child when it comes to my, uh, my divine life, let alone my youth. Right and my parenting right, yo, you have no part in none of that. And because you're from home, now I've got to kick you out. So this is what's happening 24 hours a day. And I'm saying that all of that because I have the real answer. They would have held the other parent, uh, not in contempt, but held them accountable so that they look back and say, yes, yeah. like in the system of Mordecai, they look back and they look at the record and they say, yes, he's done all these things. And no, there was no reason for strangers. So they take all, all that time to sell off. They take this, this money that they, they got owed and they, and they uh, convert it into a mandated parenting time. So if I don't get this mandated parenting time, and the other parents is in contempt. And I'm saying that with my situation, my daughter will be 20 this year. So, of course, we can't use that unless, of course, it's being necessary, you know, for to exemplify that this is the solution. But in every case, from this point on, we need to be concerned with the reunification of the parent and not the enforcement of the child support because without the reunification of the child support, Hey, so I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, but you know, I mean, like this, this whole your your situation is a your situation is an example of how they, how they do it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We're going to take these breakups. I mean, I mean, the system is designed, it's built on our failures in relationships. It's built on our failures in life. It's built on, it's built on the back of the failures. The whole damn court system is funded by, by us going through that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so we got to understand, but everyone too. That's my wife talking on her phone. You know, speaking that, speaking that, speaking that. She's. I really think she's from Oklahoma or some shit like that. But she, she speaks African. And shit, you know. I really think she's. You know. You know. I'll be hearing her speak sometimes. I'll be. I, I think she's making more words and stuff and shit. You know. I have to really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up that. I'm gonna look at that passport real good. But you know, she won't let me see her passport anymore. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. See, 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 that's what you're saying. She, she, she recites booty tang lyrics. Oh, that's what I'm saying, man. I'll be like, oh, wait. Years, but then. Sacrifice me. You know what I'm saying? But, no, fam. But, you know, I mean, like I said, a lot of times, it just, we, we see that. 
that they come at us in different ways and then they justify it or they they use uh they use strange methods to justify to, and make certain behaviors normal while other behaviors that will that will work towards the, i mean because think about this in order for this system to operate us um Dr. Amos Wilson says that the only way that this system can operate and survive is if black folks are insane. Oh, hold on. Uh, the video said, I seen the meaning that said, if a mother can afford to take care of her child, she gets welfare. If a man cannot afford to pay for his child, he goes to jail. And that's part of it. It's like, it, I mean, it's like if you look at, I mean, we, we, Maybe maybe one day I'm gonna have to go on and pull out the numbers. If we really look at the numbers and we look at what's been going on in America and what's been progress in America for at least the last 53 years. We can even just start with the last 53 years. Like right? the last 53 years that we have been quote unquote full citizens of the United States. See, I mean I know some of y'all I know that just throw some of y'all because we have always been citizens, but the last 53 years, you have been officially citizens. You know what I'm saying? The first 350, you understand what I'm saying? You was you was exiled. You couldn't compete. You know what I'm saying? So now, what we have inherited is all that 350 years piled on to this 53, and we have supposed to have made so much progress. At this time, we're supposed to do all types of miracles at this time when it's impossible because we are building, we are building the dust. We have we, we have been given mud and clay and say, look, build a life. You know what I'm saying? And one of our generations, the boomer generation, was able to accumulate some wealth, but it's not as much wealth as we think. And now, because this is one of the issues that we want to deal with, with going back to the Black Panther, is I want you to understand. And when you look at the Black Panther, first off, we know the Black Panther, there's no Wakanda. Right? But Wakanda is a perfect metaphor for our wealth as a people. It's illusionary. God damn, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, it, 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 it's not there. And because it's not there, you know what I'm saying? We as storytellers, we as warriors, using stories as weapons have to be able to look at these stories and help people see the reality yes it's a beautiful movie yes the cgi is incredible but i want you really to understand the plight of what's going on in africa and what's going on in your life and i want you to use the black Panther's inspiration but i don't want you to fall into the fucking fantasy that they're trying to feed you many people get caught up in the fantasy you know what i'm saying and we don't see the reality that if you're a mother, you have a child, they give you welfare. If you're a father, you can't pay for your child, your ass is going to jail. And they told me this. I'm fresh. I'm, I'm literally, I literally just walked across the stage. I literally just got a job. And this was my first meeting. It was just this. You're going to pay this money or you're going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Coach, cool. I'm trying to get my career started. We're going to take this amount. Like, like I told you before, family, the amount that they took in two choices. And I know some of y'all going to be out there like, that's your thought. I want y'all to really think about this shit. They gave me two choices. Either have a car, which I need for my job, or an apartment. Some place to live. No in between. No in between. And if, if my tribe wasn't there, I would have, listen, I would have fell flat on my, I would have had to hit those streets. And I'm the only one to see because I got cousins, right? I have cousins. I have, I have cousins. We all come from Muslim bloodlines. And those of us that are watching, we recognize certain things about ourselves. There's certain things about me that I will not allow myself to indulge in because I already know where I'm going to go, like gambling and shit. I can't really get into gambling because there's a history of gambling in my family. Violence, you know what I'm saying? I will go certain point, but there's certain points I would not push myself because in my family there's a history of violence, there's a history of crime, there's a history of hustling, and I, I see some of my cousins, I can see this shit acting out in. Now, 
I, I got cousins that I know that my motherfucking told them that they got a choice between going to jail or getting out of hustle. These motherfuckers gonna get it however they can. And not stop. And not stop until you know what I'm saying? not stop till they got it. This is gonna be real silly. I see this exhibited when I went to a funeral down south. Me and my cousin, two of my cousins, we're looking at a game. Y'all know those games that's impossible to win with the little hand that go down and grab the goddamn dollar shit, right? So I look at this shit. I throw a dollar in there. Go see, like, go down, drop the hand, boom. Almost got it. Oh, I dropped. One of my cousins looked at the back and he looked at his kid. The first one went into it and spent money to he got that shit. The other one did the exact same shit. I'm like, I, I don't believe you motherfuckers will waste that. I mean, I don't, but that's the tenacity that they have. So if you apply that to anything else, to a motherfucker telling them, look, nigga, you ain't got no education. Um, you really ain't got no skills. If you don't give me this money, you put your ass in jail. They put us in situations that we can't win and we don't have to go counter our, our culture in order to really survive because we got to understand that this culture that we exist in cannot thrive, cannot grow if you are acting within your African mind. If you are acting within your black mind, it cannot survive. So, Shaka, when Shaka go into a court, they want to shut that shit down. This is why. This is why I be I be the one in the court. You know what I'm saying? Whispering to this nigga before he get. Hey, I know you got a lot to say, but we got to get the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel you. I, I feel you. That's why we got social media, where you can sit up here and you can let these motherfuckers know how you feel. We can start training our children because we don't have a team of lawyers. For, for 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 one of us to lay it down at this, this time, dog. That's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, Joe Berry says, "Yes, I was a single parent back, back in the '90s, and it took me five years to get my kids a health care card." They told me I made a dollar. Listen, he said a dollar too much. What you gonna do when you when you you're gonna go get that? That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what the fuck we do. Tomorrow, we need to make it fashionable for, for those folks to have one of us on, on their team. Make sure that we ain't sitting at the dining room table when waiting for when you get home. And basically, what I mean is that it's time for us to to take the fight to take the good. I hear you. So that's what I'm saying. Without my, listen, listen to what I'm saying to you, great world. Without my kids, you will make me a ghost again. And this time, I keep trying to take my kids, and I'm telling you that me and my ancestors will be in the heart, in the home. The only option you have for us all to have a victory is to pay. And I'm looking you to the eye from what you took out of my pocket, from the love that you stole out of my house. I'm saying, 15 years, you made me a ghost, and I came back to try to deal with you. I'm saying that this time, if you don't make the right decision, what you fail to learn at my expense, I hear you. So, man, so not rare. I'm bringing solutions to the whole world. I can bring all the righteousness to your court. When you look at me and 
policía a los tribunales You have imposed on my bloodline. Not what you have taken triple fold. I'm talking exponential. I'm not just talking about a few extra zero. I'm talking about money that grows. I'm talking about wealth that stacks. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about life. Are you? Have you, ever, have, you ever, have you ever heard the story um, that uh, this one guy was on this wealthy man's land and he was, you know, the wealthy man came out to him and started bragging. You understand? This, is, this land was, this land has been in my family for generations. So, so the guy looked at him and said, well, how did your family get it? Oh, we fought for it. I said, y'all fought for it? Yeah, my grandfather he fought for him my father he fought for him. he won it and now it's my my job to to maintain it and the guy said well hey i'll fight you for it you know because now family we got them because i want y'all to see i want y'all to see the mindfuck that's been going on with us right who has raped stole i mean it's Historical fact. This ain't me making shit up. You know what I'm saying? Rape stole it, did all it like arsony, sold dope, killed your mama. I mean the, the, the man, right? Then I made all, all the shit that, that they did to acquire wealth. Uh, to acquire this is why people tell me the laws are created to protect them. Laws. That's why your future is not protected in court. That's why you don't say so. We gotta be clear about the act. A family been on here long enough. And if the roads are clear enough, I think I'm gonna go give me one of those burgers because now I knew something talking about that shit. Now I feel bad because I didn't. I didn't have burger yet. I was gonna stop the other day, but. And no burger. What? Got a little bit. Blue. And get, I wonder if Robert's got that. We'll find out. But family, I want to thank you for tuning in. Shock, what you about to do? What you doing today? We are out. Let's play some music and then we'll no. on and just stream on out. Do that. Hey, I'm gonna hang up and call you back. Bye, bro. Peace.